If there's one electric trike that holds the crown for best bang for your buck, it has to be this one. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today we're reviewing the Electric XP trike. Come along with us while we check it out. The Electric XP trike sticks with the same playbook that Electric has always used. They've only got one move, and that's to offer an e-bike that can do nearly everything the competition can, but at a much better price. And in this case, the trike actually has some real advantages over some of the competition, yet at a fraction of the price. With an MSRP of just $1,499, there is some incredible bang for your buck here, which is why this is the trike that most people are probably going to end up buying. And by the way, if you find our videos helpful and you end up getting this trike, we hope you'll use our affiliate link in the description below this video. It's a free and easy way for you to give back to our channel and still get the best price on this awesome trike. But an attractive price tag alone won't move e-trikes. They have to still offer good performance and features. And the Electric XP trike delivers there too. The motor may be 500 watt rated, but it puts out just over a thousand watts of peak power. It's also mounted in a mid-motor configuration, acting like the jack shaft of the trike and powering it through its rear wheels, instead of using a front hub motor like many other trikes that can cause low traction issues and result in front tire spin. So the trike has plenty of power back there, though it's not going to get away from you since the top speed is just 14 miles an hour. That's kind of a bummer for me since I enjoy going faster, but let's be honest, slower speeds are recommended on a trike since they can sometimes feel a bit tippy in the turns. The Electric XP trike is one of the better trikes I've tried from the standpoint of stability in the turns. It's not the best, as the rear end could be a bit wider, but it's still hard to get a wheel up in the air unless you're really trying. Speaking of controllable power though and not letting it get away from you, the display controlled pedal assist power levels are really nice for modulating that power too, since the lower levels will really drop the current supplied to the motor controller, meaning you get super gentle throttle and pedal assist activation. They've obviously designed this trike with more mature riders in mind, as well as those with mobility issues, in an effort to make it as accessible and confidence inspiring as possible. It's even super easy to mount with that low step through. Just look at how simple it is. You barely have to lift your leg to get on. In fact, you probably lift your leg higher to get to the pedals than you do to simply mount the bike. My 4 foot 10, 67 year old mom even took it off-roading. Next, check out all of the features. The big battery is a 48 volt and 14 amp hour pack with 672 watt hours of capacity. If you're not familiar with those electric terms, then just know that with a relatively large battery like this and the gentle takeoff of the trike and its lower power levels, you're probably looking at a max range of up to 50 miles on a single charge. Trust me, you're probably not going to spend three to four hours at a time on the trike, so that's enough range for just about anyone. Then consider the hydraulic brakes they give you too. That means stronger braking power with less hand effort, so even smaller or weaker hands can give good braking force. Plus, there are nearly zero maintenance alternative to cable actuated mechanical brakes. They even come with a parking brake on both levers to keep the trike from rolling away on an incline, since there's no need for a kickstand on a three-wheeler. One feature of the trike that's neat but probably not the most useful for everyone is that it can actually fold but I don't foresee too many customers that are in the market for a trike also being able to lift 70 pounds of bulky metal. So I imagine most people won't end up folding it to put it in a car or something, but where that does make a bigger difference is that it allows the trike to arrive completely assembled, folded up in a box. So you just open the box, unfold it, and ride it away. Now the seat and the baskets that you see here are not included standard, they are part of the comfort package and the cargo package. But I do recommend adding both since they're great options. If you only go for one, get the cargo package. The stock seat is already quite nice, even if it doesn't have the backrest on it, but the front and rear cargo baskets are awesome for loading down with stuff. I can see many people turning this trike into a replacement for a golf cart in gated communities or for a mobility scooter, and so having front and rear cargo storage is great. Heck, I even turned this one into a tractor for towing. There's a lot you can do with this thing. I even like how the tires are sort of a hybrid between narrow street tires and knobbier and wider off-road tires. That allows it to work well on the road, as well as on gravel or grass paths. Basically, for a bang-for-your-buck electric trike, Electric knocked it out of the park here. There are some more refined options out there, 
but I don't think anyone has ever landed on as much value as the XP trike here. So if you're shopping on a budget but want an electric three-wheeler that can take you anywhere, this is the ticket right here. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.